All right, back a few months ago, I messed with this just messing around. If you, I don't know if you guys remember, but there used to be a metal shed that was inside here. And uh, this was all full of thick weed and all that. And I completely gutted it out. I took the metal shed out. Also, I went ahead and took, this is all wrapped with chain link. And you can see it right there. This was wrapped. This actually folded over. It came over here and attached to here. Well, what this is going to be is for my turkeys. I'm going to combine this in this section as one large section for the turkeys. So what I did was I went ahead and I disconnected the chain link fence right here and I unhooked everything and I pushed it out that way so that chain link will connect to that end of the fence over there on that corner. Then I'm going to take that fence loose here and it's going to swing and connect to here. So both sides will be connected in and then I'm going to take chicken wire I'll put a beam across, continue all the way across to there. I'll put chicken wire on top. So this would be a pass-through to go all the way through to this area for the turkeys. Okay, the chain link fence that went across here, I left connected right here. I took it, unraveled it, and I connected it to the chain link that's on the back side. So this will be all one fence. Now what I'm going to do is cut this chain fencing down that way pull that out so this part of fencing will come loose now I'm gonna grab it and take it and I'll stretch it across right here to connect to that that way that will be all enclosed so that's what I need to do next kind of get it hanging over here but I also I gotta put a, a beam across the top and I need to get the fencing all straightened out um, I'll bury that fence Went down about eight inches. I'll bury the fence five to eight inches. Uh, put the dirt back over it again. And uh, we're going to continue going here. All right, you can see I put the top brace in. I uh, have a bunch of this piping I got for free. And um, I'm going to put a self tapping screw from here to there so that way the pipe doesn't slide that way because I use that. Yeah, don't laugh. You know what that is end cap to a chain link fence which would be something like that right there. But I use that to hold it, but I put two screws in it to keep it from turning and hold it in that spot. It ain't going nowhere. So. All right, there we go. And you guys, this is what's real funny, um, how I figured out how to use them here. <laughs> I forgot I had these end caps right here, but I put everything in screws so nothing comes apart. I did the same down there, as you see. I did the same thing here. It is not going nowhere at all. Um, yeah, that looks like it's going uphill. Problem is that fence up there is pretty loose and I did tack it, but I was really worried that if something climbed up there, it'd rip it. So I just felt better by doing that right there and uh, no big deal. So the next thing would be to is to put the chicken wire on top like I did here on top of there. So we'll go ahead and get that done next. Let's see, I have this three foot roll of wire and I put the another three foot against here, it'll roll up the edge. So I'll be able to attach it to here and have a complete sealed part. Um, what I did do is like on that end, I've rolled, folded all the ends over along the fence line. And what I will be using is, I don't know what these clips are called, but uh, I forgot what they're called. But I've got a whole bunch of old clips I've got hanging around. I will be clipping the fence line over there against a the chain link. But also, I have wire, and what I do is I weave the wire through the fence, so it kind of even resembles what this is right here. But these, so these two, I sew it, so these two will be together. Let's see, I've done one here a long time ago. Here you go. This one I did a long time ago. It's weaved all together, and it makes this thing one solid part, so nothing goes in between. So first things first, gonna go over there. Put those horseshoe clips on i'm actually going to put the clips on i don't think i put it on up here i just weave that all together and then i'll cut the fence and i'll connect it here i'll turn it back on when i'm done all right i'm going to show you how we weave this in i just started a new line i just wrapped it up here what we're doing is we're weaving two of these together all right and all i'm going to do just like i guess you would say sewing guys just 
weave your wire in between the mesh and pull it through. And we're gonna just keep doing this all the way through. I'll skip one or two and I'll come back and get in and hit it again. And we go, and that way nothing could pick up and get in here to get in and use wire. I keep right on going. Here we go. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it around several times. Bring it on through. There you go. And now that's nice and tight. Now we'll go ahead and cut this across here and we'll hook it to this fence. You can see I've got this part on right here. I got that one in and what I did is I kind of folded over the screen, let it hang down. And as you can see, I've got a trim board. I ran it right up against the wood and pinched it so that nothing get in behind there. Everything's all locked in real good. Uh, I might put a, well, yeah, I may put a clip right here, hold it tight right there. But we'll walk around and clip here and there wherever we need to. But this portion is looking really good. I got the turkeys in here. Sorry guys, I didn't do it earlier. Help uh, videotape, but I am so busy. I just don't have time. Didn't have time to grab cameras and stuff. But I don't know if you can see through the fence line. I've also right now I have not this chicken wire, but all the way through there. I put chicken wire on the outside. I'm gonna leave it there for just for a couple of days so these guys know. I'm pretty sure they will know, but this is where their quarters are, where they need to be. But for just right now, that's what I'm gonna do. And you can see it, I think you can see chicken wire. And it's just tacked on, no big deal. You know, next couple of days, this weekend, I'll go ahead and pull it. So anyway, there we go. They're in here, their feed's in there. Here's my water bucket. I do have that still because that's what they've been drinking. But this is set up on water nipplers. And let me turn you upside down so you can see it. There you go. And uh, so once I see that they're using this, I'll take that out. I'll give it a few days and they'll be on that. Less than a week they'll be on that right there. So There you go. They're out running around out here. They're doing really good. They were put in here yesterday, and within a couple hours, they were already drinking the nipplers off the big bucket. I'm gonna leave it in one more day, and then I'll pull it. But they're already drinking off the nipplers. So they're good. They've got the whole space. I took, I took down that chicken wire that blocked them in there. They're doing good. So there they are. They're getting free range of all this now. They all look really good. So now we'll let them eat up all the goodies. <laughs> all right, we're gonna go.